Hello YouTube and LEGO fans and welcome to Destination LEGO. And welcome to another LEGO Star Wars review and this is from the summer 2014 wave of sets. So here today we have the awesome Snow Speeder. This is set 75049. This is for ages 7 to 12. And it comes with a piece count of 278 pieces. And here in the UK, this currently retails for £34.99. That's from the Lego store or the Lego store online. And in the United States, I believe this will be retailing for $29.99. So first of all, my opinion in the UK, I think this is overpriced. It is a cool set. But £34.99, uh, um, I think, is way, way overpriced for this set. So disappointed with the um, price. Um, if you just compare that to the US equivalent, if someone does that calculation, leave it down in the comments. Um, and we will see what that equivalent comes to. But anyway, let's get on with the review now. Okay, so first up, let's take a look at those minifigures, and there are three of them to take a closer look at, so let's do that right now. Okay, first up we have Luke Skywalker, and you can see he comes with his blue lightsaber, so let's just take that out of his hand. Okay, so let's take our 360 view of Luke Skywalker. First of all, looking at the front, you can see that torso printing down into the legs. Okay, now with the helmet removed, it does come with a double-sided face, so let's have a look at the other variant of that now. Okay, so there's the other side. Okay, then a look at the helmet. Let's see some of the printing detail there, all around this helmet. Okay. And just a bit of a closer look at some of that print in detail. Okay, that is Luke Skywalker. Okay, next up we have Dak Rautar. You can see there again. The printing through the front of that torso down into the legs, obviously up into the face and helmet. As we can see, he comes with a blaster pistol. Let's take a 360 view now. And with the helmet removed, and again, he comes with a dual sided face. So let's take a look at the other variant to that now. Okay, and a close look at his helmet, he only has the blue insignia print in there to the front top of the helmet. Apart from that, it is plain white all around. And again, a quick closer look at that printing. Okay, so our final minifigure is the Snow Trooper. As can be seen, he comes with the blaster. So let's just remove that now. Okay, so we can see the print into the front of the torso. Let's take our 360 view. Round to the rear, and you can see that backpack. And again, that is a printed tile just there. And with the helmet removed, it is just a single sided face. Okay, and a closer look there at that backpack and that printed tile. So let's just remove that now so that we can have a look at that rear torso printing. Okay, so there we can see that rear torso printing detail. You can see it comes with this skirt as well. 
and goes around there and now as we're there closer look at some of that printing okay now a closer look at that helmet detailing and see there the printing around the eyes pretty menacing looking Okay, so that is our snow trooper all complete. So let's take a look at this snow speeder itself right now. Okay, so here we go. So here is the awesome looking snow speeder. So let's start off by taking a 360 tour. Okay, so let's take a look, a close look at some of the detailing and features on this set now. First of all, there are a number of stickers. We have a sticker there, a sticker there. That's a sticker at the side there. And if we move around, the same on the other side. Sticker up top, sticker there, and a sticker there. We also have a sticker down here. This front here is a sticker. And we have a look inside the cockpit area. That is another sticker there too. And also here at the rear, another sticker. So as you can see, a number of stickers. Okay, so we can see some of the detailing. Going across the sides, does look pretty awesome. Around to the side here, we have these flaps here, which are like air brakes. So they can obviously be up or we could put them flat like so and again on the other side if we wanted to we could put it into that position or obviously raised so you can see some of that detailing underneath just carrying on round to the rear see some of the rear engine detail okay at the rear here we have this winch you can see there, so it is a working winch. And obviously, if we turn the wheel there, we can see that winch lowering. So that can obviously hook it onto something and lift it. And again, turn the winch to obviously lift that back into position. We also have here one of the new style um, blaster um, pistols. So those of you who haven't seen these already, there is a trigger mechanism up there. And if we press that down, that will fire out um, the blue stud there. So let's give that a go now. And there we go. That is obviously shot out of the rear of that now. So let's go and collect that piece. And there we go with that stud now back into position there. Okay, and just following it round again to the other side, so obviously symmetrical, so the other side is identical and all that detailing apart from the sticker there. Looking down the top, this is printed around the edge of this cockpit area. Okay, and again that's just on the hinge piece there at the rear, so we can just lift, oh sorry, <laughs> at the rear here, we can either lift the whole of the cockpit up like so and back down or indeed we can just lift up that section of the cockpit if we so wish to um, like that so a bit less access if we do it that way push that down or way up like so so obviously we can see the space in there for our two um, mini figures we put those in there in a second just look into the underside of the snow speeder so first thing we can see there comes with the spring loaded missiles two of them one on either side okay and 
underside there. Okay, so for those who aren't aware, the spring-loaded missiles to fire those, we just simply push down. So I'm going to do that now, fire this one. So, five, four, three, two, one, fire! And as you can see, that did not work. Okay, guys, that was my mistake. It's because of the way that the spring loader is um, positioned on the underside here. So normally you'd push down because it's angled. We're actually pushing um, that way in this case on this one. So let's try again. Five, four, three, two, one, fire. And there we go. We can see it fire. And if we do that the other side, fire. And we can see there, they do come out very, very fast. Okay, so now with our two minifigures in the cockpit, Luke and Dak, you can see there, we can see them through the front of that um, windshield. And we're out on the side there, you can see they are back to back, so just lift that cockpit area up again. A closer look there. See Luke in the front there, and then Dak in the rear. go okay the final piece we have is this gun here which is going to be used by our snow troopers let's just take a 360 view of this now Okay, now with our snow trooper in position, obviously ready to fire the gun. And looking round to the other side, obviously what's going to be in here is the ammunition feeding up the belt, obviously into the main chamber of the gun there, obviously to be fired out at the end, sitting on top of this tripod area here, to obviously keep the gun stable. Okay, so there we go. That's my review of the Snow Speeder Complete Set 75049 from the summer 2014 wave of LEGO Star Wars sets. Okay, hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did, please do go ahead and give it that big thumbs up. Um, any comments, questions or feedback, leave down in that comment section. And if you haven't done so already... Please do go ahead and subscribe to my channel, Destination Lego. And look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Cheers.